So what is peristene transanal irrigation? This is a catheter-based system which really has three key components. The first is the catheter itself. The second is some tubing attached to a hand pump which controls the whole system. And the third is a reservoir of water. And what the patient does is to pass the catheter into their tail end and then use the hand pump system to control the, initially the inflation of a balloon at the base of the catheter to hold it in place in the rectum and then secondly to use it to drain water from the reservoir into the bowel. And what that achieves is a chance to get a closed pressure system in the bowel which causes an emptying of pretty much the entire left hand side of the bowel, that lower third of the bowel. And that's of great benefit because that differs from what else we are able to do currently. When the patient is able to clear out their entire left colon, it means that they can go 48 hours sometimes between one bowel management episode and the next, and that gives great freedom, of course. The other key aspect of the irrigation system is that it gives patients control, because the alternative currently is that patients would use enemas or suppositories. And the problem with those agents is that when they don't work, they don't work because they're not predictable. Patients may take a suppository enema and it comes straight out without anything. Alternatively, it may come straight out with too dramatic an effect before they can even get to the bathroom. The most common scenario, of course, is that they don't work at all for several hours, and then suddenly, later on in the day, the patient has a sudden urge to go, triggered by something taken much earlier. The other problem with suppositories and enemas is that they only really clear out the lowest part of the bowel, the rectum itself, if you're lucky. And that differs, obviously, as we've said, from transanal irrigation peristine, which clears out a more extensive length of the bowel. So, the final thing to discuss is which patients are we treating with this treatment for. We're treating patients with neurogenic bowel dysfunction, but also idiopathic constipation and incontinence. Now, primarily neurogenic bowel refers to patients with spinal cord injury, spina bifida, multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's disease, those common neurological conditions where the gut very often gets involved. Idiopathic problems relate to problems like slow transit constipation or pelvic floor dyssynergia, where the rectum doesn't empty properly and patients have tried conservative therapies and laxatives and not been benefited. So these are common conditions for which patients often need more intrusive help. And before they have to get to that very intrusive step, transanal irrigation offers an approach which they can control themselves.